But I'm going to make it very clear the difference between phoneme, phone, and allophone. These are all phones of the same phoneme. So phoneme is a. And usually we find uh, these brackets for phoneme. These are actually the symbols of phonemes. For example, the word is can, and there we find a vowel phoneme, a. So long a. Uh, or short a, uh, or if we uh, pronounce it, or uh, there is a nasalization a. Uh. So these all variations are known as allophones of the phoneme a. Uh. And these three individual sounds are individual occurrences of these sounds are known as phones in English. So hope this is very clear difference between phoneme, phone, and allophone. And here I have given you uh, an example. Welcome you all. Today we are going to talk about phoneme, phone, and allophone. Most of the students, they are stuck in understanding of these terminologies. We already have conducted 20 lectures in this our lecture series program. And this is our lecture number 21. This topic is from the contents of phonetics and English phonology, English Code 203. Those students who have been learning BS linguistics, this lecture is especially designed for those students for writing in their examinations. So without a further go, let's begin our today's topic. Here, we are going to talk about phoneme. It is the smallest unit of sound in a language which can distinguish two sounds. For instance, Example number A. In English, the word pen and pen differ only in their initial sounds, p and ba. And here is another example. Example number B. Ban and bin differ only in their vowel a uh, and a sound. The number of phonemes varies from one language to another. English is often considered to have 44 phonemes, 24 consonants, and 20 vowels. So every and each language actually differ uh, by their phonemes. Har language mein mukhtalif phonemes hoti hain. Phoneme jo hai, wo ek smallest unit of sound ko kehte hain. Uh, yani sabse chota jo sound hota hai language ka, usko phoneme kehte hain. English में 44 sounds हैं, जिससे language बनती है, और each sound is known as phoneme. What is phone? Individual sounds as they occur in speech. तो individual sounds, यानि कोई भी sound हो सकता है, कोई individual जो है, वो अपना कोई varied sound जो है, वो बोल लेता है, यानि कोई कम ज्यादा, या आगे पीछे कोई sound भी कह देता है, तो that is also a phoneme. Phones are grouped by uh, phonemic analysis into the distinctive sound units or phonemes of a language. So phonemic uh, analysis actually make uh, this distinction of uh, the phonemes into phones. For instance, in English, the different ways of pronouncing the vowel of the uh, in the word can. The word can, and we find this a um, uh, phoneme in this word can. So long could be a, or shortened could be a, or nasalization, there could be nasal sound as a. Oh. So actually these are all phones of the phoneme. So the phoneme is a, ah, a. Ah. So a ah is actually the phoneme and these all are different uh, variations or we may say different ways to uh, utter or pronounce this uh, phoneme. So these individual sounds are known as our physical realization of these all um, uh, produced sounds of uh, the one phoneme A uh, is called phone. What is allophone? Allophone is a phonetic variation of a phoneme. For example, the phoneme is ta. We already have learned what is phoneme. Phoneme, it is the smallest unit of sound in a language which can distinguish two words. So this ta sound could be pronounced in two ways. In a stop word, stop. Or in the word t, 
top top so top or top so these are actually the variations of uh, the phoneme ta so think of the consonant ta and the sound it makes in the word stop now compare it with the pronunciation of a ta in the word top in the later word most native speakers use the aspirated form of ta and uh, what is aspirated form actually when um the release of there is release of breath yani hum jab saans le rahe hote hain to hum apni saans bahar nikale zor se to usko hum aspirated sound kehte hain however substituting one allophone for another allophone of the same phoneme doesn't lead to a different word it only creates a different pronunciation of the same word so allophones they don't uh, change the meaning of the words but there is actually just the uh, phonetic variation of uh, the phoneme attention thank you very much hopefully this would have been very helping for all of you